This episode is brought to you by Cisco Educational Premium. The Spoon Statistics Theorem splits particles into two groups, bosons and fermions, where bosons obey Bose-Einstein statistics and fermions obey Fermi-Dirac statistics, therefore the Pauli exclusion principle. Specifically, the theory states that the particles with an integer spin are bosons, while all other particles have have integer spins and are fermions. As an example, electrons have half integer spin and are fermions that obey the Pauli exclusion principle, while photons have integer spin and do not. The theorem relies on both quantum mechanics and the theory of special relativity. And this connection between spin and statistics has been called I quote, one of the most important applications of the special relativity theory. Since elementary particles are point like, self rotation is not well defined for them. However, spin implies that the face of the particle depends on the angle as E I S theta for rotation of angle theta around the axis parallel the spin S. This is equivalent to the quantum mechanical interpretation of momentum as phase dependence in the position and of orbital angular momentum as phase dependence in the angular position. Photon spin is the quantum mechanical description of light polarization where spin plus 1 and spin minus 1 represent two opposite directions of circular polarization. Thus, light over Defined circular polarization consists of photons with the same spin eta plus one or minus one. Spin represents polarization for the factor bosons as well. For fermions, the picture is less clear. Angular velocity is equal by Renfer's theorem, the derivative of the Hamiltonian to its conjugate momentum which is the total angular momentum operator J is equivalent to L plus S. Therefore, if the Hamiltonian H is dependent upon the spin S, the H on DS is non-zero, and the spin causes angular velocity, and hence angular rotation. That is a change in the phase angle relation over time. However, whether this holds for free electron is ambiguous since for an electron S ratio 2 is constant and therefore it is a matter of interpretation whether the Hamiltonian includes such a term. Nevertheless, spin appears in the direct equation and thus the relativistic Hamiltonian of the electron treated as a direct field can be interpreted as including a dependence in the spin S. Under this interpretation, Free electrons also self-rotate with the step back effect understood as this rotation. Particles with spin can possess magnetic dipole moment just like a rotating electrically charged body in classical electrodynamics. These magnetic moments can be experimentally observed in several ways. For example, by the deflection of particles by inhomogeneous magnetic fields in a stern Galak experiment or by measuring the magnetic fields generated by the particles themselves. Cisco Educational Premium is a section of Cisco Educationals with content that is not hosted here. There are episodes ranging from long to short videos. Remember those good old shots of ours? They are there. So do we get there? Use the link on screen or in the description or in the pinned comment below. Enjoy yourself. Now we'll see you in the next episode of Cisco Educationals.